Hi friends, Radhika Ravikumar here. So in this tutorial, we will see a data warehousing concept. Uh, that is, we will see the difference between OLTP and OLAP. So here, I'll just uh, make it a two column so that uh, you know our differences will be very easy. So first of all, what is OLTP? O OLTP, the abbreviation is nothing but it's a online transaction processing. So where exactly we use this OLTP is, uh, whenever we are going to some uh, shopping malls, we purchase few things like dresses, cosmetics, all those things, right? So during the billing, uh, the person who keeps, uh, you know, uh, inserting few records, uh, I mean, sorry, inserting few records, in there, he'll be like billing, he'll be taking our data and all, right? So all these data will get inside the OLTP database. Okay, so there in that OLTP database, you can perform the actions like insert, delete, update, and all. So it's very fast, uh, you know, fast uh, processing uh, thing. So this is where uh, the OLTP will come into the scenario. Uh, whereas OL OLAP is nothing but the you know the uh, the full form of it is nothing but on on online analytical. processing so where this comes into uh, scenario is okay uh, I don't have much space over here okay so where exactly this uh, online analytical processing will come into uh, you know scenarios whenever we uh, do all these uh, OLTP thing like we collect all the data that is day to day data and finally that data is moved at the end of the day or uh, there will be fixed time for uh, their you know their respective uh, uh, you know business at that time all those uh, you know day to day or whatever data is moved into a data warehouse so in that data warehouse we you know we use those data for certain things like uh, you know for reporting purpose for business analytical purpose and all so at that time this olap will come into use so this is that is what I hope you guys have understood the difference between uh, o, o, OLTP and uh, OLAP where exactly we use so this is completely into data warehousing OLAP is completely into data warehousing whereas this um, uh, OLTP that is online transaction processing is based on the day-to-day uh, -day transactions and all so the next difference between uh, OLTP and uh, OLAP is uh, as I said we can do all kind of update insert and delete uh, statements and all can be used here whereas uh, in uh, OLAP we can usually most of the time select statement is the only thing that is being used because we extract the data only for the reporting purposes uh, to you know to make reports and all like how much is the you know how many transactions have gone and which product is very famous and also uh, you know um, like uh, what is the profit percentage all those stuff will be analyzed using this OLAP thing so next uh, difference between uh, OLTP and OLAP is usually this OLTP databases will be normalized. So we all know what is the difference between normalized and de uh, denormalized. So these uh, tables will be normalized because you know mm, as uh, it, it needs to be very fast. Redundancy will, will shouldn't be there, right? Whenever a database needs to be fast, it should be normalized. So for that, uh, the OLTP database is usually normalized. Whereas yeah, OLAP it's just the opposite of uh, uh, OLTP that is it is denormalized data because just you know always the select statement is the only thing that has been performed on this o OLAP so it's always denormalized so as it is normalized the next difference is going to be it's going to have more number of tables we know that right whenever a uh, database is being uh, normalized it means it will have more number of uh, tables because it's split into tables right okay then uh, denormalized means that is OLAP will have less number of tables because it's denormalized. So that is one difference. Then the fifth difference we can say that uh, it has um, very limited number of uh, indexes. Okay, number of indexes. So we know right whenever we we have an index in our table. Uh, this kind of update, insert, deletion, and all will become very tedious process. Like you know, when indexes are there in our tables, so we'll have less number of uh, indexes as we can perform all these statements on our OLTP database. Here, as we do only the select statement, selection is the only thing that we perform on this OLAP. So it'll have more number of 
indexes okay hope you guys are following whatever i'm explaining so okay so we going to the uh, no, moving on to the next um, point uh, we can say it is a uh, it is a source system we can call this as a source system as i said uh, uh, this is the system where we actually get our data from and this will be our target system so we always move the uh, the data from the source system to the target system right whatever transaction that happens uh, you know day on day to day day to day basis all those things are moved at the end of the day to the target system so that is the next difference then uh, coming to the uh, next one these is these ola oltp is always uh, used by the end users as specified as a scenario that i gave and this olap is mainly used for business analysis okay business analysis because we fetch the report from this right then um, we can even say that this will be a sing uh, you know this will be a single source system and uh, the this one will be i mean olap will be a multi source system okay and also um, another thing i as i said it's a day to day transaction data will be there and this will be having analyzed data analyzed uh, data or you can say reporting data okay so these are the difference between oltp and olap hope you guys have understood if there any queries then uh, let me know please do like my videos and also support me uh, and uh, comment below this video if there anything that in i need to improve in my uh, you know in my explanation then let me know and also thank you very much for watching